Hey there, Big Brother fans. It's Thursday, and we've got a double eviction prediction for you. We're going to talk about who's going to go home as the final five are revealed tonight on BB25. Of course, Thursday night's live eviction is a double header, as we'll see two house guests packed off to jury back to back in BB25's second double eviction event this season. So, who's heading home in the first eviction? Will it be Blue or America? And who's the target for the DE? Here's the latest. Latest scoop from the live feeds as we count votes, reveal plots, and dish dirt. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe, and now let's dig in. We're going to start with the first eviction prediction. Blue Kim and America Lopez are Jag Bain's final nominees after he put them on the block and then beat them both in the veto comp. Of course, he didn't use his power of veto, and now Blue has been amazingly sure all week that she was just a pawn. <sighs> the naivete. It wasn't until Wednesday on the live feeds that she started to notice that America doesn't seem worried about being evicted and instead is busy studying for upcoming comps as if she knows she's staying in the BB25 house. That's because she is staying and Blue's heading out, but there is a little bit of controversy on the live feeds. So Sari Fields talked to Felicia about splitting the vote and them voting to evict America forcing a 2-2 tie vote so Jag would have to break it and get lots of blood on his hands, sending Blue out as a potential bitter juror. But then Felicia trotted upstairs and completely threw Suri under the bus, telling Jag the plan. Fortunately for Suri, she is tighter with Matt and Jag than Mama Fee is, and they told her what her so-called friend said, and Suri skillfully flipped the script and threw it back as Felicia's idea and not hers. And of course, it was Suri's idea, but Felicia actually sealed it when she told Matt and Jag later as she confronted the HOH and pressed him, you tell Blue the truth that she's leaving or else I'm going to throw her a vote. So Felicia is all on, I don't want to lie to her. I'm not comfortable lying. And Matt and Jag and Sari are all like, "Uh, you've been lying the whole game and suddenly you don't want to lie. And they figured out really quickly that Felicia is got her eye on jury management, which is laughable, as Jag pointed out, because she is not going to be getting jury votes. She's going to be sitting in the jury. So in the end, Felicia basically gave Jag this ultimatum, and he says, I am not going to tell Blue because he doesn't want to deal with the drama, and said, if you want to throw that vote, go ahead and throw it. So... <laughs> He's still not going to tell Blue anything. And this whole situation backfired on Felicia because now Sari knows that she's been lying and throwing her under the bus every time she's up in the HOH room. And so she's been doing cleanup work and throwing all the shade back at Mama Fee. Maybe Felicia doesn't know how Sari plays reality shows. But I know that she's got some skills. I know some of you guys doubt Sari's skills and think she's just sitting in a robe and doing nothing. Other people have mentioned in the comments here that her survivor and trader skills are irrelevant to the Big Brother game. But I say give it some time. See what Jared's mama can do. Right now, there's no target on her. A huge one on Felicia. And Matt and Jag want to pull Sari to Final Four with them along with Bowie Jane. So... This game is far from over. Now let's talk double eviction target. We know Blue is out. Jag is hoping for a a unanimous vote of 4-0, but Matt is secretly hoping Felicia does throw a sympathy vote to Blue because he plans to take credit for it if she does, and good for him. That's clever thinking because I'm quite certain that if Matt says this, whispers in her ear on the way out. Blue would totally believe it. I do wonder if Felicia would mention it in her goodbye video saying, I'm going to throw you a vote. Everybody else is after you. They've been after you all week. 
if they do, Big Brother doesn't have to show that part because we know these clips are extremely heavily edited by production. So, of course, the double eviction target comes down to who wins HOH. Jag can't play, and so he's really hoping that Matt wins it. The guys think they would be safe even if Sari wins, and they're very confident with Bowie Jane. Their attitude is that they hope them or one of their allies wins it and America and Felicia go on the block as ideal double eviction targets. But if someone other than Matt wins head of household, the rest of the house guests are dumb bulbs if they do not make a big move and put those guys side by side together on the block. You have to put them up together so that one is not in a position to win power or veto and then use it to shield them both. That being said, Jag's got so many house guests under his control. America, I think, would probably take the shot despite promising the guys she would not. Felicia has talked big about targeting the guys, so maybe she would, but I don't know. Sari might nominate them. Bowie definitely would not. She's their little whipped puppy that she knows they're going to drag to the end. So, with Felicia infuriating Sari by turning on her and actually telling truths, but spreading things around behind her back, we could see Felicia on the block, even if Sari wins, even though that would be an emotional target and not a strategic one. If these women can get Jag and Matt on the block, I know the guys are going to play really hard for veto, but statistically, Jag is the one who'd likely win it. That would send Matt home, most likely, even though he's not nearly the threat that Jag is. But if Matt won and took himself off the block, I do think he's smart enough to maybe vote with the House to vote Jag out and roll forward with his other allies like Sari and Bowie. I mean, they all know, they have to know at this point, Jag is a lock to win if he makes it to final two. His resume is incredible. His gameplay has been really strong. His ability to control people in this house without them really realizing it is top notch. So, It's all going to be down to the HOH comp tonight on the double eviction episode. If one of the women wins it, I am really interested to see if they've got the cojones to target the two biggest threats in the BB25 house. We all know a double eviction is when you make your big move. I mean, realistically, if Matt wins HOH, he should nominate Jag. I don't think he would do his ride or die like that, but it would be super strategic. Do not miss tonight's live double eviction episode on CBS as we'll see Blue Chem sent to jury, then an epic scramble as we watch a week of Big Brother play out in the hour. Will we finally get a big move like we've been waiting all season to see? Or will these docile sheeple house guests keep playing Big Baby instead of Big Brother? As much as I hope Matt and Jag hit the block in the DE, I kind of don't see it happening. It feels to me like aside from America, the rest of the house guests are playing, you know, for third, fourth and fifth place. It's been a really weird season and it's understandable that the ratings keep sliding. I'm still watching because I love me some Big Brother, even bad Big Brother. So I'm a little frustrated with the sheeple attitude and the unwillingness to make big moves. If somebody, aside from Matt, wins HOH tonight and they don't make a big move, they've just locked themselves in to lose to Jack. That's the way I feel about it. We'll see. Drop your comments below. What do you think? Is it a house full of sheeple? Is Jack going to walk away with this because they're just going to let him? If you haven't already, please subscribe and definitely click a like if you enjoyed this conversation. And do not miss tonight's live episode, Double Eviction. I'm, I want to be excited about it. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in at Talking Big Brother. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.